guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a January favorites video. I love a good favorites video. It takes me right back to like old school YouTube. So I hope that you guys are the same way. And if so, you're in for a treat with today's video because we have a lot of good items. It's totally random, some beauty, some home stuff, some fashion, all sorts of things. So I hope that you enjoy it. Everything will be linked in the description box below as always. You can subscribe to my channel while you are down there checking out the links and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it. You can also follow me over on Instagram and my vlog channel, all of those places. You can find even more content from me. But yeah, we do have a lot of good products, so let's just dive right in. So my first favorite is a kitchen product that I know all of you guys would absolutely love if you do any cooking whatsoever. You have got to try Hexclad pans. Today's video is actually sponsored by Hexclad, which is a crazy moment for me because I have heard about this brand for quite some time now. My family is like really big into cooking, especially my brother and my dad and even myself. I love cooking. I'll be honest, my husband does most of the cooking in our house, but I do like to cook and I do feel like I'm good at it. And I especially love all of the cooking shows on TV. And I first heard about this brand through Gordon Ramsay and I am a huge Gordon Ramsay fan. Anyone in my life knows that. And he always talks about hex clad pans and I always wanted to try one. My brother recently got one for his birthday and he raves about it. So yeah, we were very familiar with the brand and the way that their pans worked. And we were definitely in the market for a full hex clad set when they reached out to partner with me, which is crazy. So I am very excited and oh my God, you guys, these pots and pans are incredible. Like the best pan that you will ever use, probably the last pan that you will ever use because these actually do come with a lifetime warranty. Basically they are a hybrid technology. Hexclad pans have this unique hexagon pattern that protects the nonstick coating. Other nonstick pans on the market combine stainless steel and a nonstick coating, but almost all of them are pretty sensitive to what you can use on them and how you have to care for them. But that is why Hexclad is so much better because this is the most durable pan on the market. You can use metal utensils on it. Anything you want, you can use with this pan. They do recommend seasoning your pans when you first get it. They have instructions on how to do so. It is very, very, very easy. I've cooked with these pots and pans every single day since receiving them and they are literally a dream. I will insert a video of us cooking dinner with them so you can see them in action, but they are dishwasher safe, very easy to clean up. We rarely put ours in the dishwasher just because they are so easy to wash off. But if you ever needed to, you absolutely can. They are also oven safe up to 500 degrees. And our favorite thing about them so far is the searing ability. My husband loves to cook steaks and salmon for dinner from time to time. This pan truly gets the perfect sear. It's not going to over sear it to where it's burnt. It just has the perfect heat distribution. Cook anything to perfection. I mean, literally from eggs to a beautifully seared steak, it does it all. And here is our final dinner, which is a seared salmon with a creamy Tuscan sauce. And we served it over rice and everything was cooked perfectly. Literally the best sear we've ever had on a salmon. I am so excited to dive into this. So yeah, I honestly cannot recommend them enough. We have the three pans and the three pots and that's really all you need. But if you are in the market for the last pots and pans that you will ever use, definitely check out Hexclad. Like I said, the durability and the versatility combination is just unmatched. So let me know if you guys end up trying them and you can find them linked in the description box below, of course. Okay, so next I wanna move into beauty stuff. First up, this purple hair mask. This has been a lifesaver lately. I don't have a lot of blonde in my hair, but I do around my face right here. I just washed my hair today and did the purple hair mask. So you can see it is a little bit more cool tone, which is exactly how I want it. I usually wash my hair once or twice a week. It's been more like twice a week lately, but I use this once a week. And by the end of the week, my hair is looking just a little bit brassy. I don't know if that's because of the other products that I'm using in my hair or our water. I'm not sure what it is. But this stuff helps so much. I've used a purple shampoo for a long time. The one that I've used is by Lonza and it's great. And I would kind of use it like a mask. I would put it on my hair and just let it sit. But I will say, I think this does a little bit better of a job. It is by, I honestly don't even know how to pronounce this brand. Chew you 
Mara. I don't know you guys. I'm so sorry I'm butchering that. But this one is specifically a mask and I get nervous even opening this because it is very pigmented and very messy. As you can see, it is very vibrant. Even if you are a blonde, this is just going to take any of that brassiness that kind of happens over time since the initial coloring. I will say it is potent. So if you are a blonde, I would be a little bit careful with how long you let it sit on your hair because it can turn your hair purple. It'll only be temporary, but still that might be alarming to see. For me with brown hair, even these blonde pieces, I can get them like super, super silver, almost purple if I let it sit for like 15 minutes. I usually let it sit for 10 while I'm like washing my body, shaving, any of that stuff. And then once I rinse it off, it is beautiful and it doesn't leave my hair dry. It leaves it really soft. So that has been a 10 out of 10 for me. This is a product I've mentioned before. It is the Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum, but I wanted to throw it in here again because I have still been loving this and I can't even describe it, but I swear this has made my skin so smooth. Every time time I use it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. I need to use it every day. And I have been using it every day lately. And I was just telling my husband, cause I was sitting out here in the living room doing my makeup. And I was like, my skin has been great lately. And I honestly attribute it to any morning when I get up and put this on. So I need to get better about doing it every single day. It says it's a serum. It's kind of like an oil mixed with a serum in my opinion, but I find that this works best in the morning. You just wake up, immediately put that on, or you can put it on after other serums you want to use but I swear after like 30 minutes I will go look in the mirror and I'm like wow my skin like I don't know how and I know it sounds crazy but I really do feel like it works instantly in some ways because it just seems like my skin is smoother and less inflamed so if you have redness I think that this is great for redness great for texture or just like irritated skin if you have like inflammation kind of on your skin or if it's just bothered this stuff is amazing I love it another thing I've already talked about I'm just gonna quickly mention it but this is the Milani highly rated lash extensions mascara I use this stuff every day it's really good I know when I mentioned it last time someone said that it runs on them I don't really experience that at all I don't experience any flaking or any running it's just very easy to use and I feel like it is a very lengthening mascara it doesn't dry out quickly I have a lot of high-end mascaras that I like but they dry out so quickly and it's so annoying because I have to repurchase them and repurchase them but for whatever reason this I've had for a long long time and there's still a lot of it left and it's still wet like it's not dry it's easy to apply I have it on today but I have on false lashes so you can't really see but anytime if you follow me on Instagram I just have natural lashes I'm wearing this mascara it does run if I like cry or something but I feel like that's to be expected with any mascara that's not waterproof so that's the only time that I've personally noticed it running but yeah really great affordable mascara speaking of lashes another favorite of mine is this pack of half lashes from Amazon Amazon. I don't have it here. I honestly need to repurchase them because if you followed me for a while, you know, our basement recently flooded and we've had to move a bunch of stuff down there and I just don't even know where half of my stuff is. And somehow this pack of half lashes got misplaced, but they're super affordable. It comes with like 10 pair. And these are just the most perfect subtle hint of lashes that you need. I love them because they are so easy to apply because they are a half lash. You can just do a thin coat of lash glue and pop them right on the corner so easy and they stay put a lot better than like a full curved lash and they're a lot more subtle so it literally just looks like you have beautiful natural lashes honestly so if you guys have been looking for something that is great for daily use and it's very easy to apply I would definitely recommend those and get those exact ones because I've had other half lashes that I've purchased from Amazon but I don't love them as much as I like these specifically and they give you that like sultry kind of almond winged eye look it's beautiful this Fenty Beauty Beauty lip mask I use every single night before I go to bed. This has been my go-to and I really love it. It's called the Plush Put-In Intensive Recovery Lip Mask and I really like the packaging. You just unscrew this then you twist the bottom here and a little bit will come out and you just kind of wipe it off just like that and you have the perfect amount. Like I said perfect to just like keep by your bed rub it on your lips right before you go to sleep and you wake up with really nice soft fresh lips and it has helped me a lot especially in the 
winter time, my lips have been getting so dry and chapped and it can come on so quickly, even if they're feeling normal. I swear like one day of cold weather, your lips are like freaking out, at least mine are. And something like this is essential to use daily. So that one has been my favorite as of lately. The blush that I have been using every single day is by the brand Give, which is Gwen Stefani's brand. So this is the Feelin' Cheeky Amplifying Blush Duo and it's in the shade Crush On You, but I love this shade. It is the perfect shade in my opinion for this time of year. It's not too punchy, but it's not too dark. It's just a great everyday shade and I really like that it comes with a matte one and then a slightly shimmery blush shade too. So I will swatch these. Although I do have them on today, if you can tell. Here they are swatched. Like I said, just beautiful colors, very pigmented, but also very easy to work with. I honestly just dip into both of them every single day, just back and forth with a fluffy brush and apply it to my cheekbones and it looks flawless. It doesn't grab onto anything else that I already have on my face, which I find that a lot of blushes, even powder blushes for some reason can do that on me, but not this one. The formula is very smooth. It just glides right over top. This liquid bronzer, I literally just picked up like a week ago, but it's already in my favorites video because I am obsessed. This is the Winky Luxe Cheeky Rose Liquid Sculpt in the shade Ibiza. I mentioned this in the recent makeup haul video that I did, but it is incredible. I've been using it every single day since then, whether I am doing a clean, no makeup look or whether I am doing a full face like I have on today, this is my go-to. It works great underneath powders or over top of powders. I love the packaging. You just unscrew the top here and it has a short little sponge applicator that you can just dab on your cheeks and then I usually use a brush to go in and blend it out. Today I have it in the hollows of my cheeks, underneath my jawline, and around the top of my forehead and it's just beautiful. The perfect shade, the perfect formula. It's easy to use. It doesn't dry out super fast. That's one thing I hate about liquid bronzer is if it starts to dry before you can really blend it. That is like my worst nightmare with a liquid bronzer because it can look so harsh on your skin, but not this. Even if you are not used to liquid bronzers, I promise you this is one that I think you could work with. It is very user-friendly and the formula is mwah. I haven't been this excited about a product in a while. I think the last product in beauty is a perfume and this is by the brand Letta, which is Stephanie Letta's brand who is here on YouTube. I've watched her for years and I tried her first fragrance when she launched it, which is truly another one of my absolute favorite scents. Like she is killing it when it comes to creating these scents, you guys. You have to check them out. I really wanna do a fragrance collection because I've been very into fragrance lately. So let me know if that is something that you guys would like to see and I will absolutely film it. But yeah, I'm actually working with Letta over on Instagram, which is very exciting because I have watched Stephanie or SMLXO here on YouTube for years and I've always supported her brands because she comes out with some really good stuff. Her fragrance brand, I've also tried her wine brand, which was good too. So this is another winning product from her, honestly, is the new vanilla fragrance. It is 18 Vanilla Nera. So I have here the full size 1.7 fluid ounces and I just love her packaging. It's the same as the first fragrance, which is good, keeping it all in one uniform look with the rib detail bottle, the gold top, the simple label, just so classy. This is just one of my favorite vanilla scents that I have tried in a long time. If you like those woodsy, almost a little musky scents, but you also love vanilla, this is going to be for you because it's not overly musky. It's just like that perfect touch of sophistication mixed with a sweeter vanilla scent. I love it. Like I could just live in this. It's perfect for winter, but I also think you could move it into spring, especially as a nighttime scent, like going out with your girls, going out on a date night. This is like intoxicating. It's so good. Its description online is a deep, rich fusion of vanilla, tahitinous, sparkling bergamot, and white floral bouquet. It has ginger Nigeria, pink pepper, and green cardamom, a warm, sweet, spicy blend with patchouli Indonesia, and whipped musks, adding a touch of creaminess. I think that's a beautiful description, and I would agree. And I actually have the bundle, which comes with a really cool travel case and travel perfume, too. So the case is just like a cream faux leather. It says Letta down here at the bottom and then it comes with the travel size perfume which I also really love that it has a sprayer on it too so many travel perfumes don't and that can be very annoying so yeah if you like vanilla scents you're going to love this you got to try it out I think the bundle is on sale right now so that's a plus speaking of scents we will move into some home stuff another one of my favorites has been my Scentsy and I did not ever think I was going to be a Scentsy girl but I was actually purchasing a gift for my mom around Christmas time and I saw a beautiful gold leopard Scentsy and I was like, that is so me. I love it. It's so gorgeous. I had to have it. So I purchased
purchased it. And my mom had given me a Scentsy for fall and Christmas time that matched my decor. So I had been using it for a little bit and I wanted one that just matched with like my all the time decor. So the gold leopard was perfect. So that is my main favorite. I just think it's beautiful. I have it sitting in my kitchen next to like my paper towels and my toaster. We have a lot of gold in our kitchen. So it matches beautifully. And I just love when all the lights are off, you just see the light from the Scentsy. It is like so calming, so beautiful, just creates such an ambiance and it just makes me happy. So I have been loving that. And like I said, I didn't think I would ever be a big Scentsy girl. And I don't think I want them like all over, but I do like just having one in my kitchen. And it's something that I can leave on a little bit more than a candle, obviously. I never want to leave a candle unattended. But with the Scentsy, I can leave it on while I leave the house for a couple hours and you come back and your house smells amazing. Right now we have a lemon scent that I actually got locally. I believe it's a shop called Emmy's something. This has literally filled up our entire top floor of our house. It's so strong and it smells incredible. Like I'm baking lemon cookies. I'm obsessed. Another favorite of mine and my husband's has been our coffee pot from the beautiful by Drew Barrymore line at Walmart. So my husband got this a little bit before Christmas. He really wanted like a traditional coffee pot and I gave him the green light because I thought it would be nice to have a coffee pot myself. That way we can have coffee ready for us right when we wake up. And I really liked the idea that our coffee pot would match the other appliances in our kitchen because we have a lot from the same line and it really is gorgeous and it matches our kitchen perfectly. You can program it, which is nice because my husband has to get up super early for work. So he programs it, be ready at like 6 a.m. So he can just grab a cup and head to work, which is nice. And of course it makes a lot of coffee. So if you have multiple people in the house that want coffee, this is honestly a better bang for your buck rather than buying a bunch of K-cups or an espresso pods. I still love my espresso and I do use that from time to time if I want a latte. Just for like daily morning coffee, the coffee pot has been a really nice touch. And I also got the beautiful by Drew Barrymore air fryer for Christmas and we have been loving that too. It's gorgeous. It sits out on our counter because we use it every day. It's a double air fryer so you can actually cook two different things at once if you want to. It has a large capacity and it works really well. So we just love it and I love our whole new kitchen setup. It is great. Speaking of coffee, I have been having my coffee in my brewmate coffee cup almost every single day because I am the worst at drinking coffee as soon as I fix it. It's either way too hot and then I'll let it cool off and then I'll forget about it or I'll drink half of it and then I'll forget about it and then by the time I remember, oh yeah, I have coffee to finish. It's cold and I don't want to warm it up, blah, 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 all of those things. But this mug, I do not have to worry about it getting cold because it literally will not get cold for hours, like hours, you guys. This is from Brewmate. It is in the Gold Leopard. It's amazing. I think I might have a code or a link with Brewmate as well. So if I do, I will put it in the description box. But I have been a big Brewmate fan for years. I've mentioned them in a lot of other favorites videos. I've had this for two years now and I used it from time to time. But ever since we got the big coffee pot, I've been using it daily. I just rinse it out every night, wash it a little bit, and it's good to go for the next morning. For example, my husband made me this cup of coffee at 10 a.m. It is now noon and we're gonna do a little taste test because of course I still have not finished the whole thing. Yeah, you can lock it right here and then I just unlocked it because I wanna take a sip, push that back. It magnetizes so it's not gonna fall on you while you drink. Yeah, still the perfect temperature. It's incredible. I don't know how they do it. If you want something to make your coffee in and have it be hot for several hours after you make coffee, you really do need to get something like this from Brewmate. You can either do the traditional coffee mug like I have here, but they also have like travel coffee cups too. My husband has one of those and those are just as good. Another beverage favorite are these Karma Probiotic Waters. I got these at Target and I've been loving them. They taste so good. They come in a lot of different flavors. They have two billion cultures. So they're great for your digestive health. Probiotics and kombuchas and other premixed drinks deteriorate over time, but Karma's patented protective push cap guarantees that our proprietary blend of essential vitamins and cultures is delivered at peak potency. It also has 100% of six essential vitamins, including vitamin A, B, and E. And the flavor is so strong. I was really not expecting the flavor to be so strong because a lot of drinks like this, it'll say watermelon wild berry, for example, and it's very subtle. But 
but not these. They taste very strong, very, very good, but they're only 20 calories. They do have some added sugar. For example, this is four grams of added sugar, but that's not too bad. And it's still only 20 calories, so I don't mind that. And what they mean by the push cap looks like this. You just peel off the sticker, and when you're ready to drink it, you actually just push this down. And all of that stuff inside, it's going to release into your drink. And then you just shake it up, and you are good to go. It tastes so good. I will say, especially with nails, they are a little bit hard to push down. What I will do is get something hard, like a spoon or something, and use that to push it. And that way, it is all good to go. So you can see it kind of going into the water now. If you like flavored water, you are going to love those and they're like decently good for you too. This is so random, but I also wanted to mention a recipe and I feel like a lot of you guys will like this because I feel like a lot of you guys like me are constantly looking for recipe ideas. And this one isn't really like healthy or good for you, but wow, it tastes so good and it's very easy. So I wanted to mention it. It is called Million Dollar Spaghetti. I saw it on Instagram or TikTok or something. I literally just got canned sauce, ricotta cheese, made some noodles, Noodles, got some packaged cheese, cooked up some sausage, and then you layer it and it's all done. Pop it in the oven at 350 for like 20 minutes and it is really, really, really good, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, obsessed. So we will definitely be making this again in our household and if you are looking for something that kids will enjoy, your husband will enjoy, you will enjoy, everyone will enjoy, but it takes like no time to cook it, that is the recipe for you. Let's talk fashion favorites. First, I wanted to mention a pair of leggings. I actually have two pairs of these from Amazon and I wear them all the time. Specifically what I love about them is the booty scrunch in the back. I've had a few booty scrunch leggings in the past but I will say I don't really like them in other colors. I prefer the solid black. It's less noticeable. A lot of the other colorful booty scrunch leggings also have like this crazy contour going on and I don't like that. I don't want to draw like that much attention to my butt but I like the little booty scrunch because it just separates everything nicely if you know what I mean. There are some leggings, especially if you do have a bigger booty, that can make your butt look like all one lump, if you know what I mean? And it's not the most flattering. I hate leggings like that. So the booty scrunch really just ensures that that is not going to be the case. Everything is separated. Everything is well defined. And I don't know. I just love them. I think that they're very flattering. I think that they look good. They make your backside look really nice. These also have a nice thick waistband. So I really like the way they fit around my waist. They kind of suck everything everything in, smooth everything out. Also, I love the length of these too. I am 5'5 five five and they hit perfectly at my ankles. I just couldn't ask for better leggings. So yeah, I have two of them. I wear them constantly. I really need to go back and get a third pair, honestly, and throw some of my other leggings away because nine times out of 10, I would rather wear these. These I like just got, but I wanted to include them because I'm obsessed with them. And Skull House Designs has the best sweatshirts. I know you might not want these in particular because it is already very close to Valentine's Day and these are kind of Valentine's themed, but all of their sweatshirts are so cute and unique. I recently picked up two from their like Valentine's Day collection. This one just says Love Club. It has little Cupid, little bows on it. Like I said, just so unique and it has designs on the sleeves. This says forever and always. And then you have little kiss marks over on this sleeve. And I love the color of this one. It's just like a full length sweatshirt. I got this in the large extra large because I love my sweatshirts to be nice and oversized. And then I also got this one which is a little bit more simple it's a pink one with a pink heart in the center once again nice like oversized sweatshirt and I loved the back of this one that says can we always be this close of course my fellow Swifties know that is a Taylor Swift lyric and I love it I love it love it love it this looks like Valentine's Day but honestly it also just looks like a Taylor Swift merch item so you could wear that anytime but yes just wanted to shout them out because they have the best sweatshirts I recently picked up these jeans from Target and I am so impressed with them I have been kind of on the hunt for a really nice, good pair of jeans that I can depend on. You know what I mean? Like when you are in a rush to get ready and you need an outfit and you just want a pair of jeans that look good. You know what I mean? It can be so frustrating when you just don't have like that go-to pair of jeans. So I have been on the hunt for that, especially since my closet downstairs is all out of whack with this basement flood and all the repairs. I don't know where anything is. So I have purchased a lot of jeans and I ended up returning all three of the pair that I recently showed in my Target haul. I just wasn't in love with any of them. But then I picked up these from Target. They are by Wild Fable and they are kind of unique. So I did not have high hopes for them whatsoever, but I actually really like them. So they are a fold over style. So it looks like you have your waistband kind of unbuttoned and folded over, but this entire part is actually a button fly, which is really flattering. I feel like that holds everything in 
very nicely. And they are high waisted, which I was kind of nervous about with the fold over. A lot of those styles are mid rise to low rise, but not these. They are a good high rise. It looks so good with something tucked in, whether it be a bodysuit or even like a graphic tee. They have a little bit of distressing, but not much. And then they are a straight leg at the bottom. I really like the wash of these too. It's just like a classic light wash. And honestly, they look good on the butt as well. Just super plain on the back, but they are perfect. I love the way they fit. I love the look of them. I love the uniqueness and they're pretty comfortable too. So these have been a great find for me. And then the only other fashion thing that I was going to mention in this video is Rent the Runway because honestly, that's where a lot of my clothes have been coming from lately. Rent the Runway is a subscription service, but I have been obsessed with them. Seriously, you can ask anyone in my life, my husband and my mom, all of them have heard me talk about Rent the Runway because it is the best. Like I love it for if you have an event you're going to or a trip you're going on, or even like if you need some new outfits to kind of refresh your work wardrobe, this is amazing. I have the middle plan, so I believe you can swap out twice a month for five items at a time. All of the information will be in the description box below, and I believe I actually have a coupon code as well, so I will put that down there too. But they have the most incredible pieces. I will pop up several pictures or videos of my outfits from Rent the Runway. Everything comes in a huge bag like this. You go through your stuff, try it on, wear it as much as you want, and then you pack it right back up in the exact same bag, and they give you a prepaid shipping label that you can literally drop off at UPS. I actually have a UPS access point at the CVS right next to my house. So I literally just package it up, drop it at CVS, and I am good to go. Once it scans in and it starts tracking, Rent the Runway will email you that it's time to pick your next pieces. It's so easy. There are so many reviews on there, and I love that they have a lot of different sizes available too. And a lot of the stuff on there is like designer. So if you've ever wanted to dress like you're rich and dress in like these gorgeous designers, but you don't want to pay $800 for a dress, then Rent the Runway is the way to do that. I had a trip to Gatlinburg, Tennessee right after Christmas time, and I did not want to buy a bunch of stuff, and I did not want to go through my closet and figure out what to wear. So I like rented a bunch of stuff that would be great for that location and the weather, and it was so easy. I literally just got everything out, and I was like, oh, oh my gosh, I have like so many cute outfits. Bam, 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 done. So definitely check them out if you want to refresh your wardrobe and constantly get new pieces without spending a ton of money. That is amazing. I always end off these videos with podcast recommendations, books, music, anything like that. As far as books, I have been reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I know this is an old book that a lot of you guys have already read, but I've had it forever and I'm just now getting around to reading it because it is a physical book that I had and I usually read on my Kindle. So I am reading it and it is very good so far. So I like it and I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts once I finish it. Podcasts, I literally only listen to the Vile Files, it feels like. Nick Vile is such a good podcast host. Like, I love his podcast. I love the Ask Nick segments. If you love being nosy and into people's drama and business, that is a really fun one to listen to because people call in asking for advice and it's just very interesting. So I love those episodes. And he also has a lot of really good guests. If you watch a lot of reality TV, Bachelor, Love is Blind, any of those types of shows, he has a lot of people from those shows on his podcast and interviews them. He even had Gypsy Rose on there, which is the girl who like conspired to unalive her mom because her mom was like mistreating her. It was like a case of Munchausen by proxy. Anyways, very interesting guest. So that is really all I've been listening to. But I did want to mention some music faves. I've really been into Megan Maroney. I believe that's how you pronounce her name, but she is amazing. She just came out with a new song called No Caller ID. I first heard it on TikTok when she was teasing it and it is incredible. I love her voice. It's so good. I love her fashion. I just love her. I love all her songs. I've really been listening to a bunch of her stuff on Spotify, her new song. She's the same one that sings Tennessee Orange. She sings I'm Not Pretty and a bunch of other stuff, but she's amazing. She has like that raspy voice. She's kind of giving like female version of Zach Bryan almost. And I love Zach Bryan too. So that's been a favorite. And I've also really been liking just artists that I found on TikTok. I think one girl's name is Bella May. She has really good songs and her voice is really unique too. And then Jensen McRae, actually Justin Bieber shared her on his Instagram and that's how I found her TikTok, but she's also an incredible singer. So yeah, really been into finding people on TikTok. Love the good singing videos on there, but that is it. Those are all of my favorites for January. Let me know what you guys have been loving for the month of January or just like in the past couple weeks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see 
more favorites videos because I can definitely do that. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already. Like I said in the beginning, you can also follow me on Instagram and all of that good stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.